if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know I have a particular aversion to PowerPoint slides. Generally speaking, having used PowerPoint slides for 20 years to sell enterprise software, I now believe that, frankly, PowerPoint is the tool of the lazy, the uncreative. But sometimes PowerPoint does have a place, and I have begrudgingly put together a presentation that I would like to walk through with you. I know that there is a lot of ways to get excited about real estate, real estate investing. I believe one rental at a time is the best way for most people. I know it works as not only have I been through it, but now I've helped thousands of other people start or take the next step in their journey. So I wanna ask for your attention. I will be bringing up our PowerPoint. Some of the slides will build. But I want to take you on a journey to why one rental at a time is the best strategy for most. I want to give a call out to sub two, syndications, flipping. I want to give a call out to how to get wealthy. I want to put clear ownership where I think it belongs. And again, let's just go through the slides in the story together. So, excuse me, allow me to share my slides. Put this in slide share mode and I will get rid of myself. So folks, what we're looking at here is a really quick slide. I think it's 10 slides on why I think one rental at a time is the best way for most people to get wealthy. So again, the goal of this talk is why is one rental at a time the best path for most folks? We're going to go over kind of the do's and the don'ts and the how comes and the who's it for and all of that. We will discuss how getting wealthy is really just a three-step process. We will go through them and talk about the timeline to get wealthy. Uh, we will also highlight what I believe are the key things that stop people from getting wealthy. I, have, over the years, have helped many, many people start this journey. Many have completed it. Some have been uh, tripped up along the journey, and I think we should talk about that. So you, too are not tripped up. And then I want to give you action items. I want to give you action items to do tomorrow. If you are really motivated today, tonight, now, but we are going to get into all of this right now. So why is buy and hold the best path for most people? It is not the best path for everyone, but I do believe it is the best path for most people, right? I believe most people have full-time jobs. Some people have multiple jobs. I believe most people have or will have a family. I believe most people are willing to start and then grow, right? So there's a lot of reasons why. Well, you know what? Let's talk about flipping. You see flipping shows on HGTV all the time. You've undoubtedly seen wholesalers with big checks on social media. And I consider both flipping and wholesaling chunk money, right? You build chunks of money. But did you know it takes significant capital to market and attract off-market leads? One of my millionaires that comes on every other Sunday, Jason Pritchard, he spends 15 grand, one five, 15,000 bucks a month on mailers and outreach. Also, never forget that flipping and wholesaling is active income, aka the highest taxed. And again, one thing that you will see throughout this is it is really hard to get wealthy by not owning assets long term. How about creative financing? Sub two. It is without question super cool. And without question, perhaps the number one strategy in our current market. What is our current market? Our current market is one of 7% mortgage rates. However, we may find motivated sellers with two, three, or 4% mortgage rates. I do not purport to know or understand sub two. I have been very clear. This is a weakness and an area of opportunity for personal growth. But that said, do you have the time to prospect, to understand all of the risks, the unknowns? 
this is something I am looking forward to investing my time in. But a lot of folks with family and full-time jobs and this and that, not everyone has the time to become a ninja at all the ins and out and sub two. But let me be very clear. I think the current environment, perhaps the next two or three years, might be the best sub two creative financing year since 1981. In the last 40 years, this is the best setup for creative financing. How about the bigger is better crew? How many syndicators, how many multifamily investors are frankly arrogant? Yes, arrogant. How many of them talk down about single family homes? They keep telling you bigger is better and cost segregation and all of this nonsense. Folks, bigger is better sometimes. It is a math formula. If your ego is tied up in unit counts and you want to say you own 10,000 units and you have 1% of that, by all means, bigger is better for you. But I don't know about you. I don't live on unit count. I live on cash flow, positive cash flow. I also live in a world where 30-year fixed rate debt is a good thing. We are seeing the demise of commercial lending. We are seeing the collapse in syndications. And the folks that are arrogantly putting out videos today talking about single family being bad are likely in great pain. They likely have done deals in short term. They likely have little to no actual skin in the game. They are perhaps losing hundreds of millions of dollars in investor capital like that team in Houston. Or maybe they are like the team that invested in the sun, sun, sunshine states that are having capital calls. Bigger is not better all the time. In fact, I think going bigger out of the gate is a mistake. Even Grant Cardone started with a single family home. They are the most liquid. They are the most easy to understand. They have 30-year fixed rate debt. You, Most of you can own it by yourself and don't have other partners. So again, I think it is comical and frankly insulting that all of these syndicators and multifamily investors are talking down about perhaps the greatest way for most of us to get wealthy. Lastly, buy and hold is not sexy. It's not Burr. It's not Airbnb arbitrage. It's not thousands of units. But gosh darn it, it works. 30-year fixed rate debt, cash flow day one, hold for the long term, build wealth. Let inflation be your friend. And let's say one more time, 30-year fixed rate debt. Something else to just remember is without question, wealth, wealth, net worth comes from long-term ownership. Folks, if you got into a multi-syndication or you got into a multi-family syndication and you were part of that Houston team, you could accurately say you own 3,200 units. But because your debt financing was stupid, you would also say you lost 3,200 units and you burned all of your capital. If you get into a big deal and you can't hold it long-term, you have to be a forced seller or you have to buy or sell it. You are going to lose money. And boy, LPs are going to burn billions and billions and billions of dollars. Because yes, you owned them for a minute, but you didn't own them long term. Fixed rate debt is powerful. In fact, one of the advantages that is least talked about in the United States is our 30-year fixed rate debt on residential property. Now, in this video, I am talking about single family. In fairness, it is residential financing, one through fours. If you want to build a portfolio of fourplexes, go nuts. It is all residential financing. So I do believe getting wealthy is a very simple three-step process that's repeated over and over and over again. One, you must increase your dry powder. Dry powder is disposable income. How much money is left over at the end of the month that you can do whatever you want with? Now, you can either increase your income 
hustle more, side it, side hustle, get a commission-based job, sell more. You can decrease expenses. We did a needs versus wants analysis that was eye-opening. We were wasting uh, money on wants. We cut that out. Or, of course, you can do, and what I recommend, you can do both. Next, you must become elite at something. What I talk about with one rental at a time is becoming elite at your buy box. I don't care what your thing is. It could be cars, stocks, real estate, crypto, art, whatever. I am asking you to look at that thing 20 minutes a day. For me, my became elite at 93703, three or four bedrooms, two baths, two car garage, between 12 and 1800 square feet. I looked at that thing every day for three and a half years. I became elite and I started my portfolio there. This is really the anchor, the starting point for my course, how to get started one rental at a time. More on that later, but yes, get a buy box and don't look at anything else. Buy box is permission to focus and ignore. And then the final one, the one that is often missed is getting wealthy in this three-step process. Step three, do step one and step two for 10 plus years. Never stop momentum at year three, at year five, by saying, I deserve X. No, you don't. You haven't actually done anything yet. You've started a journey, you've built momentum, but you are not yet. You don't stop halfway through a race and sit down. You finish the race. And the race to getting wealthy, in my mind, is a 10-year journey for most people. So why single family homes? Now, again, one through four, but I'm going to say single family throughout this particular slide. Single family homes are the easiest to understand. Single family homes are the most liquid. If you are trying to sell a large multifamily today in a commercial market with no lending, good luck. Single family, you have investors and owner occupants. Single family homes are the easiest to learn. They change, there's frequency, there's updates, there's, there's transactions. So you can watch a market evolve. Single family homes actually offer the lowest turnover. In my portfolio over the last 22 years, the average tenure of a home is eight years. The average turnover in an apartment is just over two years. Trust me, turnover is what kills landlords. Homes require the least work. They are what people uh, strive to live in. They often take care of the front and backyards. This is where they really want to plant roots. So generally speaking, they require the least amount of management or work. Single family homes offer you the ability for 30-year fixed rate debt. If you don't know the importance of this, watch all the syndicators ask for money, beg for forgiveness. Delay redemptions. It is going to get bad, bad, bad. Single family homes are frankly the goal for most renters. Do you want to know why the average tenure in a home is eight years? Is because once a renter gets into a home, they generally don't want to go back to an apartment. Single family homes are the easiest path to four. I often talk about getting to four rentals being life changing. Now, remember, these are four properties. Again, this might be four homes or it might be four duplexes. They're four loans. It could be 16 units, four times four. You know, four plexes equal 16 or four single family homes. It is four loans, four residential loans. You can actually get 10 relatively easy. So remember, I love Jim Rome. Uh, shout out RP Jim Rome. Discipline works miracles. How to get started one rental at a time. Everything I do at one rental at a time is about that focus and daily discipline. Getting wealthy, three steps. Step two or step three is 10 years, right? Don't forget it's time in the practice. Focus, daily discipline, 20 minutes a day, become elite. So what stops people from getting rich? Friends and family, most of you, don't have a network of amazing people that are starting to do the same thing you are. One of my happy accidents 
on this five-year journey of inspiring people to get wealthy is I created a Facebook group attached to the course, How to Get Started One Rental at a Time, now over 2,000 members. Everybody's happy. Everybody's doing the work. Everybody's networking, asking questions, posting wins, posting losses. Get around people that are doing the work. Most people lack focus. If I can give you anything on this channel or in my course, it is the beauty of focus. I call it a buy box. Buy box is permission to look and permission not to look. Get rich quick. Man, I am real, get, real estate investing has never been get rich quick. It's get rich for sure. There is no easy button. Don't gamble. Don't take your hard earned capital and just waste it away. Do the work. I deserve X is a very dangerous statement. Mindset, man, how many people of you are still following at least one doomer? If you watch one doomer, it is like adding oil to a glass of water. Why would you do that? You have to protect your mindset. It is hard out there. It is tough. Focus and daily discipline is not natural. If you let one doomer change your mind, problem. Block those people. They do not have your best interest. Now, keep in mind, doomers produce daily content to scare you. I have no problem with being negative. The economy is hard. Affordability sucks. There is a difference between a doomer who produces daily content to scare you and somebody who is talking reality. They are different people. Lifestyle creep. How many people have hustled, got started three, four years, and then let lifestyle creep? If you are watching this as one of my fans, what are some other reasons that stop people from getting wealthy? Leave comments below. I would love to hear from you. Go ahead and stop this video and put in the comments other things that stop people from getting wealthy. So this is how you stop it. You've got to audit your network. Some people have to go. They just have to go. They're poison. They're holding you back. You have to make it a habit. One of the things that is my superpower is the ability to take something that is frankly unnatural and make it a habit. Looking at my market for 20 plus years, almost every day. This is a get rich for sure, not quick business. Delayed gratification. Remember, the step three of getting wealthy is 10 plus years. A little doom porn can destroy you. How many people have said, Michael, I blocked some doomers, but I still watch this one. Again, if you are watching a doomer who produces daily content to scare you, block them. If you want to talk to somebody who's talking about reality, bad affordability, the economy, recessions, fine. You have to separate doomers who produce daily content to scare you from reality. There is a clear difference. I believe you need to fix your expenses, needs versus wants, until you're done. Don't splurge. And then, of course, there are lots and lots of things that you could do um, to uh, move forward. So what is stopping you? Yes, you watching this right now. Bunch of mirrors. I think what's stopping most of us, and it certainly was stopping me in the beginning, was my own self-beliefs, my own network, my own just natural belief that wasn't possible. Folks, how to get started one rental at a time works. I have almost daily postcards we're sending out. Focus and daily discipline. Taking your shot, understanding average, getting better. Your network, man, how many of your networks just aren't there? Get around people that we have in the uh, how to get started one rental at a time course, and it will help you. So what to do tomorrow? I want you to set up your buy box. I want you to start tracking your buy box. I want you to tell everybody what your buy box is. And if you don't know what your buy box is, earlier in this presentation, I told you mine. 93703, three or four bedrooms, two baths, two car garage, between 12 and 8,000 square feet. Your buy box should produce between 20 and 40 active listings. You need to learn what average is. This takes time. For the best of you, it takes 90 days. For most of us, it might take six months. And then I want you to add 1.5% to make it a good deal. And I want you to add 3% to make it a great deal. 
We are only writing great offers, but we are willing to negotiate to good deals. Does that make sense? We're going to write offers that produce a great yield and then negotiate to good. We do not do average and we do not do bad deals. Here's a challenge. Meet two new people a week. Yes, two new people a week. That should be easy with today's social media. You can, of course, follow me on YouTube or subscribe at One Rental at a Time. I am on Twitter, Threads. I have a website. Do me a favor. Go to my website. Shout out all the millionaires that you see there. Uh, lots of book recommendations. And, of course, you can get the courses there. You can buy my book on Amazon. I actually have two. The original One Rental at a Time with over a 1,000 reviews. And perhaps an even more valuable, yes, folks, more valuable book, 15 Conversations with Real Estate Millionaires. 15 Conversations with Real Estate Millionaires is 15 different unique stories about real estate investors that became millionaires. You have to check that book out. So here's my story in a nutshell. We'll go through this very quickly. Uh, I lost $160,000 thinking I was smarter than Warren Buffett in the stock market. That's how my journey in real estate started. I found real estate investing via that purple book we call One Rental at a Time. I wasted a year. Every book I subsequently I read said, invest in your backyard. It's not doesn't make sense in the Silicon Valley. I found a market two and a half hours away. I bought Norris Drive. You can actually go look it up on Zillow if you want. 1818 Norris Drive East 93703. You can see I bought it for 108, sold it for 265. It was foreclosed and sold at 75 grand. So I invested before, during, and after the real estate crash. I was a featured blog writer on Bigger Pockets until Brandon Turner showed up, uh, raised millions of dollars in private money, uh, retired at 45, and started this movement called One Rental at a Time. Since retirement, I flipped over 50 homes. I got my real estate license and then didn't renew. It wasn't valuable for me. I've raised millions of dollars in additional private capital. Wrote two um, uh, Amazon bestsellers, uh, both One Rental at a Time and 15 Conversations with Real Estate Millionaires uh, were bestsellers. I have the little, I took photographs or snapshots when they got that tag. I did launch a YouTube channel with nearly 50,000 subs called One Rental at a Time. I interview 10 millionaires a week, which is awesome. We get 10 different practitioners on my channel. Find the one you like. Watch the others if you want to. I did buy a small office building in Fresno that I call the Hub. I host a call at 9 a.m. Monday to talk about what's going on at the Hub. I did hold my first real estate event in Fresno, California called uh, uh, Mastermind in November. If you want to buy that, it's only 47 bucks. You can get all six hours. Six hour mastermind for 47 bucks. Can you believe I do that? I did launch a brand new website, one rental at a time.com. If you got any value out of this presentation, please do me a favor. Go to the website, one rental at a time.com. Bounce around, meet the millionaires. I spent thousands and thousands of dollars creating this because I wanted to celebrate the millionaires. And then finally, if you're still watching, I want to offer you some goodies. I have a course called How to Get Started One Rental at a Time that is $3.99 that's helping thousands of people move forward. I'm going to give you $100 in goodies if you buy the course today. For $3.99, you, you will buy it. I will get an email. I will then email you back. Me personally, I will personally email you back saying, what two free courses would you like? You want the mastermind? You want the buy box, deep dive, whatever you want. You can go to my site and see which $50 course you want. You get two of those. If you really want to get on this journey and you want to have a 30-minute one-on-one phone call, you are truly lucky. This course is going up to $9.99, but today it's $7.99. Not only is it $7.99 today, but I will give you $450 in free courses. If you buy the course at $7.99, I will get an email. I will then add Every single $50 course I have to your um, teachable account, plus my Get Your Money Right course was actually a $100 course. You will get all of that, which is $450 roughly in value. So spend 800, 
get a 30 minute call, get the one rental at a time course and 450 bucks in free stuff. You can't beat it. So at the end of the day, folks, that is what I have for you. Um, do me a favor, like this video, comment, share it. Let me know what you think. Buy my books on Amazon. 15 Conversations with Real Estate Millionaires was written for you. 15 different stories. You can meet Jason Pritchard, meet Kevin, April Crosley, uh, John, um, Greg Dickerson are just four of the 15 stories. One rental at a time. You can take selfies. In the end, folks, join the One Rental at a Time community because we are doing the work. We are focused and we are all going to get wealthy because we know it takes focus, daily discipline, and 10 years. Take care. Thank you so much.